That's perfect. Feeling better than I ever felt. Feeling better than I ever felt. Why, thank you. What's up, everyone? Hopefully this video isn't, like, really cringe, because this is, like, the first vlog I've filmed ever. Boring! So, I got cash out today. Because we're going to be getting, uh, long tube headers for the GT two-valve. Also, I think this video, I should have all the parts that we're going to be putting into the car update because I don't think anyone knows on YouTube at least that the motor blew up. So there's a lot of parts waiting, pretty much a whole motor almost ready to go, but I just have to put it together and do some more work to it. This is the coronavirus time. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! So ignore the messed up hair. It's pretty bad. But right now I'm about to go into a parts store and uh, get some Plasti Gauge and I forgot what it's called. JB Weld because my intake on the Pi intakes for the 4.6 if you don't know they have like metal certs into the plastic and for the coil packs mine's just spun in the plastic so I'm gonna put some JB Weld or some type of whatever weld something to hold that in. That way I don't have to buy a new intake yet. And the plastic gauge is going to be to check my clearances for my bearings, uh, my rods, and my crank, the main bearings. So yeah. Alright guys, I'm at the spot waiting for the dude to bring the long tube headers. Got the money. It's a good deal, honestly. BBK long tubes for 260 bucks. Normally they go for 500 and he has all the hardware and gaskets that come with it. I'm not going to be using the BBK gaskets because everyone says they're trash, but... It's nice still. Just waiting on him. He said he's like a couple minutes away. I don't think I'm gonna film him because that's weird. I don't wanna ask him either, so. I'll just pick it up once I get the parts and then I'll show you guys what. Bro, what are you talking about, man? guys got the headers oh, oh no oh, sub looks fine long tube BBK some dings in it looks fine overall but obviously not out here to play with headers. <laughs> Got some melons and a rifle. I'm gonna set some up over there. And this is just like a little stress relief. Tough year so far, but uh, watching melons explode is pretty fun. So we're about to do that. Last time I had this thing out, we were shooting at like a mile, so it's probably not set up to shoot 100 feet or so right there. But I'm just gonna adjust my scope and then see where I can get it. Probably can't see the watermelon. I just have my camera on a tripod right now. I think I'm gonna switch lens because you probably can't see the watermelon over there. And I'll just zoom in on the watermelon. All right, I think you could see the watermelon now. I adjusted a little bit, so we'll see how far off it is. <laughs> Had it already all the way in on 25 zoom. That one was pretty high, I think. I can't even tell. All right, looked at the footage. Definitely was high. Some more adjustments and then make another shot. All right, I have no idea where that went. <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot another one, just for fun. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> one.
Alright, let's see. I don't know if I could zoom it out enough with this lens. We'll see. Uh, there it is. It's as far as we could zoom out. And I'll just walk up there with a different lens. Yeezys are not the best tube choice for this stuff. <laughs> Dang. There's a piece. Didn't do that much. Oh, I know why. I have different kinds of rounds. Some of them are just normal, and the other ones are hunting rounds. I just shot the normal ones. So I'm gonna switch to the hunting round, and it should make it, because the ballistics, it should explode more. Or not explode, but just whatever it is that makes it explode. <laughs> I'm gonna get the hunting rounds in it, and then shoot another one. All right, guys. I got the hunting rounds in there, and I also have a cantaloupe, and a pineapple, and a watermelon. So, rest in peace to Spongebob if he's in his house right now. What? There it goes. stuff is some stuff that other people brought to shoot here. That's a microwave that I set the fruit on top of. And uh, it's holding up pretty good. You can see it all over there. This next time I'm going to put, I have another cantaloupe and a um, pineapple that I'm going to place over there. Maybe if I hold it all the way out, it'll focus. I don't know. But I'm going to set it over there and then I'm going to set the camera up close and try and get a slow-mo shot. If my camera will do it, I'm not really sure. But we'll see. My editor will have to do it. Huh? <laughs> Guys, it's probably really bad wind noise, but here's the fruit. <laughs> it really splattered a lot. I don't know where my toilet paper went. I thought it went over there, and then I shot at it again, and then I lost it. Hopefully the video got it. All right, guys, that's probably all for sure. I'm gonna go actually have nothing else to do today, so probably just gonna end it here. I might make the shooting its own separate video and then continue this video currently when I get the parts that my dad is shipping to me because I had them sent home. I live in California, but I work in Texas, so he's shipping them to Texas for me. And uh, yeah. All right, I just thought I'd address because some people might be like, why are you shooting fruit when you could have gave it to someone or toilet paper when you could have gave it to someone? And it's cause, look, that looks bad, right? All that trash out there now so if i shoot fruit or some paper it's gonna dissolve and there's not gonna be well not dissolve but deteriorate biodegradable type stuff yes sir Damn. so that way it's not gonna sit here forever and then just look like this yeah so before anyone goes and says ah no
cock that motherfucker back, Kiwi. That was the most expensive thing I've ever shot at. Just for some clout. Can't believe I did it, honestly. Damn. My parents would be disappointed, probably.